Welcome to another episode of The Real Estate Junkies. I'm Nick Zigich, and we are going to talk about the transaction, the life of the transaction, so the moment from when a buyer makes an offer to the moment when they close escrow. And to help me understand that process with me in the studio today, my friend, Mike Vashani. Good to Mike see you Vashani, again, Nick. Broker, broker, two brokers, a lot of knowledge coming out here I hope this so. time. So, Mike, we have a buyer. The decision is made. We're going to make an offer. Okay. The moment comes. All right. So, what do you do then? <laughs> Breathe. Okay. Because once you make that offer and it gets accepted, the buyer stress begins. Yes, and I know <laughs> it's that. It's a stressful process. Looking, looking for the property is stressful when they're in escrow. It's really emotional. First is making the offer. Yeah. When you make an offer, they're pretty standardized. Now, you've got to understand, from state to state, it's very different. So, we're focusing on California, specifically our region here in Monrovia and this area in San Gabriel Valley. So let's make sure we're focusing on that. And I got to stress out that this, this process, as we are covering it, I do not want to look at it as a point of how the agents do it. No. But what is it that the buyer, uh, the, the, all that philosophy, psychology I, I there. want that buyer to understand yeah. what to expect. Yes. There's a lot the agent's going to do that I'm not going to bring up today because right. that doesn't affect the buyer. It's all done behind the scenes. Yes. But the first thing is making the offer. Yes. That's when you actually write the purchase price on the form, you actually put how much money you're going to put down as a down payment. You're actually going to go through a lot of standard cost, escrow cost, title cost, and I'll go through all this in a second. Right. There's a lot of different costs that are involved in a transaction, and they call the customary charges. And in each area, there's a, there's a standard customary charge. Buyer pays certain things, seller pays certain things. Yes. In this contract we put together, we call it the purchase agreement. It explains all that. Everything that's going to happen in this transaction, transaction is in this contract. Yep. It doesn't it's not mean, a big contract either. No, nine pages, ten yeah, pages, yeah. plus some <laughs> disclosures, yeah. some termite work. That well, could be 15, 20 pages. Right. That's just the contract. There's a lot more stuff when it comes to disclosures, and that's in the transaction itself. So let's say we turn the offer in, and let's say it gets accepted. Okay, an offer is consisting of, usually. An offer consists of the actual nine-page offer, what they call a wood pest addendum, and that's taking care of termite work. Yep. And termites are those little bugs that fly around, they eat away at the wood. Yeah. There's ones that fly that, that are called dry termites, and there's ones that are underground. And a lot of times there's damage to the house that are caused by the termites, or that could cause by the term, be caused by the termites. This talks about taking care of those termites taking before you close escrow, and the cost to go along with that. Yep. And then you have some additional disclosures about the relationships, who's representing who, the buyer's agent, the seller's agent. Um, and then you also have the check. The check. Okay. When you make an offer, your agent is going to give a copy of what they call earnest money deposit. It's usually a check for about anywhere between 2 to 3% of the purchase price, showing that the buy agent has that in their possession. That's the money that's going to go into escrow as soon as it's opened, yep. opened up. And I'll talk more about mm -hmm. that. Um, in addition, you're going to include your pre approval letter, which we talked about before, but that's pretty much a letter saying you're qualified to get a loan on this house. Yep. Straightforward. And then the next thing is going to be potentially a copy of your first page of your credit report. Sometimes they ask for that, sometimes they mm -hmm. don't ask for that. The, the three first, I think, the better are the, the ones. The better the, your offer package is, the better chance you get selected. Yep. There, it's, it's a competitive market, and you've got to make sure your agent is putting together the right offer package. Assume that they like your offer and they're going to work with you. And sometimes they work with many um, buyers, and they'll give five multiple counter offers out to every buyer. But let's assume they're focusing on you. It makes it a little easier. And they're going to send you what they call a counter offer. Yep. The counter offer is going to counter either your purchase price or some terms in the deal. In a standard deal, buyers pay certain costs, sellers pay certain costs. Okay. And this is in that transaction. Yep. So you have the purchase price. That's yep. one. You have your loan. That's two. You have how many days you want for your closing. That's three. You have a thing called termite, which we talked earlier. Who's paying for the termite? That's four. And typically, the, buy, the seller pays for active termite, such as tenting the property. The buyer only pays for things that could potentially cause termites. Recommendations, so called. Recommendations where yep. there's water sitting against the house. You should correct the water that's against the house. Yep. Um, that's another whole topic in itself. Then there's the escrow fees. Typically, the buyer's fees, the buyer pays for their share of the fees. The seller pays for their share of the fees. Right. So they say 50-50. Each pays their own share. 
Okay. Then there's the title policy. And title is basically an insurance that says you're, you, the buyer, are going to get clean title on the, on the policy, on the, on the property. What that means is that there's no money owed on the property, there's no liens against the property, that they own it free and clear without any legal issues. Right. It also protects them from other issues such as property boundaries and disputes with neighbors. But pretty much, you're required to have title insurance on a home. Mm -hmm. There's a thing called the owner's policy and the lender's policy. The owner's policy is the title insurance that protects you as the buyer, uh, you know, assuming you're the buyer. Right. Um, that policy is paid for by the seller. That's customary. The, the uh, policy from the, uh, the lender policy protects the lender. That's paid for by the buyer. The next thing is the home warranty. You have a warranty that protects you for the first year. Um, that helps you cover expenses like the toilet doesn't work, electrical thing doesn't work, you have some plumbing issues, you have some lighting issues, basic stuff around the house. That's and it's just helpful. It's and it's helpful. helpful. It's, 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 it's gives there's you kind little of, things that always happen around the house. It, it gives the buyer peace of mind. Yeah, exactly. Toilets go bad sometimes. A, a, a light switch goes bad sometimes. I you use have, it for my wash, uh, dishwasher. Your dishwasher goes bad. Yeah. Your oven goes bad. Your, you know, these are basic stuff paid for by the seller. These are standard. All this is negotiable, but paid for by the seller. So now going back, your offer gets accepted. You went back and forth on a counter offer and all these terms. Now you open up escrow. That means that a third-party company is taking both sides of the transaction, gathering the information, gathering the money, looking at the contract, making sure that both sides are acting in, in good, faith, good faith, and will take the monies, get everything signed by both sides, do the grantees, which I'll talk more about, and make sure the property, when it comes to closing, the money goes from the buyer to the seller, the keys go from the seller to the buyer, and we're all happy. Yeah. And the, there's legal paperwork done to legally transfer the property. You go into escrow, the buyer will turn in their, in their earnest deposit into escrow. Yes. The escrow will prepare escrow instructions, just summarizing the contract. The escrow will order a, title po a preliminary title policy so that you can have a title insurance when you close. The escrow will, will order all the uh, disclose, any documents that need to be given to the seller to the buyer, the uh, escrow will take you down the process and making sure that both sides are getting all the documents that are supposed to be given out during the process. Right. Things for the buyer to expect. Turn the money into escrow. Next thing is doing a home inspection. You typically have about 10 to 17 days to do all your due diligence, right. all your inspections, and making sure your loan is good and your, t and your insurance for title is good. So first thing is in inspection you are going to hire a home inspector to inspect the property to make sure the property looks good for you. Yep. If there's a problem with you're the property... You're going to walk the property with the inspector, you're going to walk the it out. You're going to meet there with the, with the inspector. Your agent's going to do an inspe their own inspection. The inspector's going to do an inspection. You're going to walk around. Once it's all done, you're going to say, I'm happy with the house or I have some issues I want the seller to repair. And that's called a repair for request. Repair, re request for repairs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Reverse the words around there. Yeah. So that's when your agent's going to negotiate repairs if you have that. The second thing is during this process your loan is being done. There's going to be an appraisal on the house. You, the buyer, are going to pay for an appraisal. This is when a third party comes out there and says the value of the house is X. And if the value of the house is what you're buying it for, the lender is going to feel comfortable. And that's only for the, if there's a lender involved. That's only if there's so a lender only involved. only if there's money finance. Typically a first time buyer is going to have financing. Right. But yeah. that is uh, typical. Right. You know, so, so everybody knows. Those people that are buying cash they should know that There's that's no not a part of the deal. And you can do it still if right. you want. So home inspection, the lender's doing all the lender work, qualifying you as the buyer. They're going to be asking you all kind of questions, asking about all kind of paperwork, more taxes, more um, pay but stubs. Mike, since we actually did a, 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 a episode where we had the, the pre-qualification. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. We did pre-approval, so the buyer at this time knows exactly. They have a working relationship with the lender. Right. They just complete the process. Right. So let's say... The lender is going to qualify you now and give you a final approval yes. and with a lot of conditions for the seller and the escrow and for you to meet. You're going to go do your home inspection and everything's going to be fine, negotiate the repairs. You're going to go through the title report to get title insurance. And if there's any problems during the escrow period, you're going to clear all that up. This is a very stressful time and your agent's going to be handholding you during yep. this process. Trust your agent. That's the key. You're also going to get a whole packet of disclosures. This is where the seller says, 
these are all the problems that I'm disclosing with the house. They're going to ask you questions like, have there been any insurance claims in the house? Is there any, any deaths on the property over the last three years? Are there any um, natural hazard issues in around the house, environmental issues? They're going to ask all kinds of questions. You're going to get this whole package. Yeah. And I'm not going to go through the whole package now. No, but you know what? On the package, it's just important at this point uh, to say 50 pages long. that the agent we'll is, go that. is the good agent is going to make that part easier for the client yes. because they're going to sit them down, they're going yes. to explain, write it out, and before you know it, it's all kind of clear and signed. That's where it's really important yeah. for the agent to be involved. The agent's going to walk through the whole process. The agent's going to tell you about the title, the, uh, um, the um, title insurance, the repairs, the inspection, the appraisal. One other thing, too, is during this time, you're also going to call your insurance company to get a homeowner's insurance on the yep. property. You know, once you do all these different things in the process and you feel comfortable, you get to the point what's called removal of contingencies. I never explained what contingency is. When you open up escrow, you have a contingency period. That's what I said earlier was due diligence. That's where you have X amount of days to make sure your loan and your inspections and All your appraisal, things. everything I said is good. Once you say, I'm good, and I remove that contingency, and you remove all of those contingencies, and you can remove one or all, but usually you remove all of them, at that point, right. your earnest deposit, that 3% you put into escrow, is no longer refundable. Right. That means if you don't close, you'll lose that money. You don't have to close. You're never obligated to close, but you'll lose that money. Right. That, so, that is a great point a that you bring. And that, and it's again, not a point that, that it, people need to stress over. It's but, just a point that we do. need, need no. to understand that, right. that that is a time period in which you can uh, make the magic. And the most stressful period of escrow is that day one to the removal of contingencies. Right. That's when the buyers are extremely emotional. Every little issue of the house can open up a whole can of worms. And I have stories to go talk about that situation, which I don't think we have time today. But once they remove that contingency, that's when all the stress level starts dropping. Yep. Because now they know they're going to close. During the first 17 days or 10 days or whatever that is, they're not sure they're closing. They're spending money to make sure the house is good. Yeah. And hit that point. From there on, now the next steps is the escrow calling you to come in or sending documents to you from the lender. The lender is going to have a whole package of, of closing documents. Yep. I mean, a package that you're going to say, yep. I, I mean, are you kidding me? Yep. I mean, there's repeat documents, but it's, it's important. This is where you're going to sign away. You're going to have a notary come in and sign a, and sign a note and a deed of trust that's going to say, I owe this money in the property. That's going to be signed. Once all these documents are signed, they're going to go back to escrow. The lender is going to fund money into the escrow, which means the lender is going to put the, the loan into escrow. Yep. You're going to put the rest of your down payment into escrow, and all things are going to be reviewed, and we're going to re send it to the recorder's office, and we're going to close. And when we close, you're going to get the keys from your agent, and the seller is going to get their money, and we're all going to clap. We got, yay, yay. Two days later, you're going to get a package in the mail saying you own the property, and any refund of any money that you've overpaid may have overpaid because right. of the exact dollar values we don't know until we actually close. Yes. I know that was a lot of stuff real quickly. Oh, no, but All you right. know what, Mikey? Thank you so much. <laughs> because the good thing is that this has been recorded, so you can actually watch it or you can rewind it later on when it go, hits the Internet. But the fact is, all these things do happen. So, and, and I'm happy that you actually covered it in such detail because there's so much more I didn't even cover. Hey, you know what? Uh, just but that's why you need a good agent. Yeah, absolutely. Going slowly down this process really gets you to understand that it is actually a standardized process. So, for those people that are stressing out because it's the first time in their life, it it it, it has been done over and over again, and agents know how to 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 go through the process and make it as easy as possible for the client. Trust your agent. Yes. So it's key. Again, find an agent which we, you click with. Thanks again, Mikey. Thank you, Thank Nick. You I appreciate lot. it. I hope this all answered your questions and that you will be a good buyer. But uh, until next time, I'm Nick Zigich, and you've been watching The Real Estate Junkies.